And after Laura Anderson got wind of it, she predictably went mental accusing Georgia of lying and sparking World War III as every islander in the villa took sides But it seems the road took its toll on Laura's budding romance with Jack, as she's set to dump him in tonight's episode After Georgia sticks to her story that the kiss was two-sided, Laura takes Jack for a private conversation The past 24 hours, I just don't really know if this is the right thing, me and you, she tells him I just feel like I need a bit more Obviously you're really attractive and we do get on, but if I'm being honest I don't really see on the outside, after the villa, how we would really work Laura continues, obviously you're a lot younger than me and I don't want to use age as a thing, but I just think I have come in here to meet someone and I don't want to settle and just try and I feel like I'm just trying I don't really want to play it safe and just go with it, she adds In the beach hut, Laura explains her decision further My heart is just not in it and you have to go with your gut and stick by what you believe in and why you're here, she admits Her bombshell takes Jack by surprise, although on reflection he confesses he could see it coming I kind of knew it wasn't going to go any further, but I wanted it to It's not ideal, it's one of those situations where it is a bit gutting but it's cool He tells the camera After their split, Laura says they can still be besties which probably doesn't go down too well But the next day, the stewardess gets upset during a day out with the girls and says the real reason she ended things with Jack was because she was scared she would lose him to Georgia which would be another blow after first day Wes Nelson dumped her for Megan Barton Hansen Obviously I decided to end it. I just thought it was going to go with Georgia and it's going to be the same thing and I wanted to take control of the situation, she confides in Donnie Dyer and the other girls Later, the tension grows again as Ellie confronts Georgia about the kiss and apologizes for calling her an ugly sea in front of the other islanders the night before I'm going to say sorry for the other night, but I think people who need to say 20 times a day that they're loyal usually aren't I think their actions need to follow, Ellie tells the group She then turns to Georgia and says, I can't understand how you can look your friend in the eye and say you're a loyal person when you tried to kiss the boy that she was seeing, knowing what she's been through Referring to her conversation with Laura, Georgia once again reiterates that she's loyal, but Laura's heard enough Your actions and your words are slightly contradicting, I'm not a saint I feel like you expect me to be this saint, Laura tells Georgia I've got feelings you hurt me by choosing him, you hurt me by kissing him, and I don't get how you wouldn't see that Laura then adds, I care about Jack still I ended it last night with him, because all I was thinking about what you You were making me feel bad for not believing you and I need to put your friendship before my future with a guy However, in a huge U-turn, Laura starts changing her mind after the boys are tasked with cooking a romantic meal for their partners As she explains her conflicted feelings to Jack, he reacts with frustration Today I missed you I feel differently today and I feel it's a lot to do with my insecurities of what's happened to me, she tells him 
he hits back, for me, it's a complete mind fk. That must have been in your head for you to say that. Laura goes on, I'm trying to tell you that I've been in that situation where I've been fd over where my mate has taken the guy I'm with. I just felt like it was happening again, so I wanted to take control of the situation, I'm trying to say sorry. This is hard. I fancy you. I like you and I've just fd it. She adds that she's got feelings for him, but will Jack be able to forgive their blip and move on? Love Island continues tonight at 9 p.m. on ITV2, followed by Love Island after sun at 10 p.m.